the isekai genre is oversaturated and how do you stand out? The meta is to be so ridiculous. The title is like, what the fuck is going on? I want to watch it. We've had reincarnated as a slime. Ridiculous. Great show. We've had reincarnated as a sword. Now we have reincarnated as a vending machine. This dude is a vending machine? All right, let's just see what's going to happen. Is this him waking up as a vending machine in another world? <laughs> you probably got hit by a truck while doing something. Yeah, here we go. We're the truck gun, dude. I'm just your average ordinary guy. Oh, wait. Did a vending machine collapse on him? What the fuck is that logic? Bro, try to fucking catch a vending... No, no, you should break away and back off, but okay. Okay, isekai He became one with the vending machine. Maybe the vending machine god was like, oh... What a noble human. I will grant you another life as a vending machine. <laughs> so ridiculous. Does anyone even have like coins here to put in? It's his pa oh, the reason he tried to save it was because he's so passionate. This shit's so ridiculous. I have some high expectations though. If you're gonna start an isekai show with something as ridiculous as this, it better deliver. Hey, where are my fellow boomers at? A can of cola, Pepsi, you know those little 125 milliliter cans? That shit used to be like a dollar, dollar twenty-five back in the day in high school. You know how much that shit is now? Probably up to like three fucking dollars. What the fuck happened? I don't know if a goddess's compassion is to make you into a vending machine. If anything, most people will be like, what the fuck? I've seen so many isekai animes. They all become OP characters with OP powers. But you're gonna turn me into a vending machine? That's some bullshit, but he doesn't seem to mind at all. Actually, Japanese vending machines are next level. They like serve like hot food, man. Um, what else is there? Like they sell like cigarettes. I'm pretty sure they sell like condoms and uh, like even like underwear, toothbrush, like all these different utility items you would never think of. I don't think there's any customers here. The vending machine meta is you gotta be placed in a like pretty popular place, right? Yeah, exactly. Yo, we gotta like put the vending machine in front of like a guild tavern or something. I don't think that's a customer. Oh, I, I don't think this frog monster is intelligent enough to understand how to put coins into a vending machine. <laughs> it's gonna fuck you up. This frog's beating it up with his club. You got any coins, Mr. Frog? No, 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 I don't. What if the defense is super high? Oh, we can take damage. What happens if durability goes all the way down? Unusable. Does that mean we just die? Oh, yo, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Remember, how, did you guys see Am I Really the Strongest uh, Isekai show recently? You know, the kid has barrier magic too. <laughs> Here's another barrier. You know, if you kind of look at the vending machine, it's kind of cute. Oh, who's here? Hey, you want to buy some corn soup? And got some mineral water too? Oh, that's a lot of thighs. <laughs> The cameraman got his priorities set. Well, try try some of our vending machine goods. But do you have coins? We can't just give them for free, can we? Coins? Does she have coins? I would assume like the coins is gonna be converted to whatever the local currency is, right? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> First customer. <laughs> This shit's so ridiculous. You, you, you shouldn't choose water though. You're hungry. Is there anything else? Corn soup. You're actually gonna buy corn soup. Right, put your hand in there. Yeah. No, don't worry. I guess to a completely like foreign person that has no clue what a vending machine is, it'd be kind of scary to put your hand in there, right? All right. Yo, this is gonna blow her mind. Dude, this shit's gonna blow her mind. It's probably the best thing she's ever tasted. Umai? <laughs> See, that's one of the best things about isekai shows where... Like, campfire cook... Campfire cooking anime? 
Um, you know how you like was cooking for everybody with like modern seasoning, like salt and pepper and shampoo. People are fucking losing it. That's one aspect of isekai I really like. People just nutting over the basic modern shit. Oh, damn. But she's hungry. She, no. she needs more than just drinks, man. Bro, you gotta you gotta add some actual food items, solid items. Can she carry the vending machine back to town? <laughs> I don't think she's strong enough. Wow, trash. Imagine if we had that in real life. <laughs> this is still so ridiculous. Only pre-programmed lines, right? Because he can think all the things he wants, but he can only say certain lines. Yeah. That's an interesting limit. Like this restriction. Why would they prevent him from actually speaking out his actual thoughts? Other than role playing as an actual vending machine. So hello there and too bad. <laughs> hello there and too bad. That's the only thing that he can say. Well, not really, but you know, that's the only way he can answer. Not really. We're just chilling. Yeah, bring us back home. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, carry us home! Hello there. Hello there. Maybe she's super strong? Okay! She's super strong! I mean, this is a, you know, another world where there's like hunters and stuff, but... There. That's... She's gripping it front like the... Holy fuck! I thought she'd have to bring like a carrot to... I don't know what's more ridiculous, her carrying the vending machine like that or the fact that he's a fucking vending machine! <laughs> hey, buy some. You want more corn soup? Yeah, you need better items for her, bro! Change the menu! Oh, what's the new one? Huh? Shit. Ah, there we go. We got some solid food, but still some junk food. I mean, it's a vending machine. <laughs> I'm not gonna expect gourmet restaurant, you know, cooking, but... I right, got some potato chips. Yeah, this shit's gonna blow her mind again. Potato chips back in this time? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, potato chips. God bless potato chips. Whoever invented potato chips... Salute. We're kind of hustling her. <laughs> I don't know how much money this is to her. I don't know how rich she, I mean, she's probably not that rich, right? But I don't know. <laughs> I feel kind of bad that she keeps buying like shitty potato chips. Uh, she's loving it, but you know, I feel like she deserves a little bit better. But then again, it's, it's a vending machine food. What do you expect? Wow, the gates are just wooden pillars like this. We're really just back in the boonie time, huh? Yeah, try the milk tea, girl. Come on. Why is this so fun? <laughs> it's the guy fucking <laughs> buying corn soup and milk tea from a vending machine, but it's, it's surprisingly really fun so far. Mm -hmm. A lot of uh, North American vending machines, like, we don't serve hot drink. No, it's all just cold, right? But a Japanese vending machine, you know, they built different. Still so ridiculous how she's just carrying <laughs> that vending machine. <laughs> you grown adults bowling a child. Oh. That's while she was holding the vending machine, by the way. This helpless little girl looks really rich, though, if you look at her design. <laughs> she should just throw the vending machine at them. <laughs> huh? So. She's super strong, but did she intentionally miss or is she just bad at aiming? She didn't miss the first time she kicked that guy. Why? That seems kind of important. Hey, rich looking girl, spend your money on potato chips. This is her... her friend? Damn, I guess her entire group, I mean, they, they did say it, but everybody just died. She's a little devious. Oh. That's a sinister smile. <laughs> what a shift. Uh, it's a magical, sentient thing. Box. Gives you food. Give me money. 
All right, you ride it. There you go. You got to place it in the right place, right? The entire meta of vending machine and making a profitable business is you got to put it where people can see. Oh, we can talk. Yes. Buy something. If you think about it, this is kind of like pimping a vending machine out. You know, Lamis is like the pimp and the vending machine <laughs> is the hoe. And Lamis is just going to bring it around and make it, and make it a lot of money, right? <laughs> Technically, I don't think Lamis gets any of the cut of the money, but still. I'm going to change up the menu, bro. Switch it up. What's it going to be this time? What is it this time? Uh, oh, then, oh, wait! Is this like a... Oh, then out of a can? What a... It's like, I would have... I, I would have thought it'd be like, you know, cup ramen. You know, it's like instant ramen, but in like a in like a plastic bowl. But then they would have to get hot water and understand how to do everything. Damn, there is instructions, but this is a lot easier. Damn. Never had, you know, well then out of a fucking a can. That's crazy. Umai? Yeah. Uh-huh. Complex yet light flavor. I mean, this is probably the most basic thing. It's canned Oden, right? But still, to them, this shit's crazy. Very popular. Yeah, the Catalan is killing it. <laughs> Yo, we're gonna be rich. Sports drink. Like energy drink? Uh, that's actually so funny. That's interesting. Wow, they're actually going into like the marketing strategy, the business, you know, strategy. Like, oh, I can't serve, you know, actual food during the daytime because of the restaurant. Hmm? Negotiating advantage. Can you just throw that at? Oh. What the fuck? Yo, if we could walk, I just go there and smack. But what does she? What does she want? It does look very inconvenient, but at the same time, it looks hilarious. Hey, this is Tanjiro and Nezuko right now. Yes. Yes. Oh, a new line? I don't know. Yes. Hello there. Yeah, I want him to actually be able to say what he's thinking, not these pre-programmed lines. Boxo? That's his name? Boxo is his name? Yeah, yeah that's a cute name. Aww. It is fucking ridiculous. This is the most ridiculous isekai premise I've ever heard of. But so far, this is solid. I've actually... That was really good. As you guys think, pretty fun. I, I, I mean, it's uh, nothing like super epic and edgy story of you. You got to kill the demon lord. No, no, no. This is like a chill kind of slice of like isekai. I enjoy this stuff. Man, this is such lighthearted fun. Bro, it's a fucking vending machine. But the other people are like, oh my god, can't own it. Of course, they're fucking losing it. This is going to be fun. But now, the problem with uh, a gimmick show like this is... Okay, so I'll watch episode one because what a ridiculous title. Reborn as a vending machine? But from here on out, how can they keep it fresh and interesting? By just restocking the fucking different menu items and people are like, Oh my god, a brand new item! I don't know. We'll see how it is. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.